Okay, so this product today, I'm quite skeptical about it. I don't know how good it's going to be, but I can actually see if it is good, this could be the future of, well, I might as well just tell you, the future of padlocks. Nothing really interesting about padlocks, I know, but this is a bit different. So, an instruction manual, a USB cable to charge the padlock. Why would you need to charge a padlock? That's because this padlock has a fingerprint sensor right there. Now that's pretty cool. Think about it, you get a padlock, you get a set of keys with it, and if you lose those keys, well, you're well and truly screwed, right? You're gonna have to pretty much break the padlock open. With this, you'll never really have that issue. I mean, as long as you still have your fingerprint, it will always open, right? Now, of course, it has a battery inside, so when the battery does eventually run out, you're gonna have to charge it. Now, look, I don't know how long the battery's gonna last, but I'm presuming it doesn't really waste much battery because when it's in this state, it's locked, it's pretty damn tough actually. It's not using any battery, right? Only when you put a finger on the fingerprint does it light up. You see that light there? So something happens then. But anyway, let's crack it open. Let's actually give it a try. Let's register a fingerprint. Let's see if it works as advertised, okay? You need to scan this QR code and download the app that allows you to communicate with the padlock. Now, my understanding is you only need to download the app once. You need to set up a fingerprint. And once that's been set up, you can delete the app if you really want to. You never need to log into the app ever again. Once that fingerprint has been registered, then, well, that's it. You can always use it. You don't even need your phone with you. So it doesn't need to communicate with your phone to actually work as a padlock. So that's pretty cool. And you can also remotely with the app unlock it. Now that is pretty damn cool as well. It does work via Bluetooth, so when I say remotely, you can't be in another end of the country or on the other side of the world. You do have to be within range to actually uh, unlock it. But okay, let me download the app, let me set it all up and we'll give it a crack. Okay, so I've got the app downloaded. Now I have set up a fingerprint, but I'm going to set up another fingerprint just to show you how it goes. So. First things first, we've got to hook it up with uh, with Bluetooth. So register a fingerprint. So I've registered my thumb last time. So this time I'm going to register my index finger, right? So you just place it on just like how you do it with an iPhone. You just got to give each little corner of your finger a nice good. Just got to tap it a few times. Boom, done. So I've registered three fingerprints. I don't know how many fingerprints you can register. I'm assuming more than three. <laughs> so to unlock, I can literally click this button and it should. <laughs> it's unlocked. That was quick, that worked. All right, let's try it with the fingerprint. Let's get rid of the phone. So first, let's try my thumb. <laughs> that is cool, I like it. It works, it works really well. Let's try my other thumb, because I also registered that. <laughs> and finally, my index finger that you just saw me register. That's amazing. And just to check, I'm gonna try my middle finger. Now this isn't registered. No, and there's a red light saying no. So it, it's a legit fingerprint sensor. It's not just trying to fool you, you know, just by any time someone touches it or opens. No, it, it really is a fingerprint sensor and it works quick. I mean, look, you just, one and a half seconds, put your finger on it, boom, it opens. Quick and easy. It's a secure padlock. It feels well-made. Now, obviously a padlock has to be tough, right? This is, I don't even know the material. I would say it's metal, but I don't know what kind of metal it is. It feels, it's, very, it's got a lot of weight to it. It's tough, I mean, you ain't breaking into that. I mean, I'm sure, okay, if you have 
certain tools I'm sure you know you you can break it it's not indestructible but then again which padlock really is I mean unless you're going for really expensive padlock they start getting very very tough this feels as tough as definitely tougher than a lot of cheap padlocks you know the ones you can get from the pound store or the dollar store yeah no this feels a lot tougher than that and it, yeah I mean it's tough it's a strong padlock it's got a fingerprint sensor the battery lasts for freaking ages you could use this you know what in fact I actually am gonna use it uh, this is I'm actually gonna use it as a padlock I, I think it's a great idea fingerprint that's all you need you never have to worry about keys anymore. You never have to worry about, oh, you know, where did I put that key? And you, the key's your hand. That's beautiful, isn't it? And it's got a nice mechanical, I love the way it opens. You can really hear the mechanisms. I mean, let me do it towards the mic. Hear this. <laughs> it's got It's got a really, mechanical feel to it I love it really nice really nice okay so in terms of price this cost me 17 pounds 99 pence which is about 24 25 dollars um, so yes it's it's more expensive than a cheap padlock you can get padlocks cheaper than this however I think for the price it's actually really good look I mean a padlock needs to do two things two things it needs to Keep whatever it's keeping safe. It needs to be, you know, tough and not easily opened. Which I can, I can just tell by feeling it. This is pretty tough. I'm sure you can break into it if you really wanted to, but generally speaking, this is going to do the job well. And number two, it should be easy to access. It should be easy to open for the owner, right? And when you take away the key element, because keys always get lost. Uh, you know, keys are just one of those things. They get lost very easily and they can be copied very easily as well. With this at least, no one who is, even if someone manages to get the key from you, right, on a traditional padlock, they can open up all your valuables. With this, they're going to have to chop off your finger, which, you know, hopefully, God forbid, they don't, but it's a lot harder to kind of get into a padlock like this. So it, it does have a good security aspect. I really do like it. $24 is cheap as chips. And I tell you what, you'll probably never go back to normal keyed padlocks. So I will leave a link to it in the description below. Check it out. Otherwise, that's about it. Do turn on notifications if you haven't already. Uh, I'm, I've got a lot of a lot of stuff to review and unbox and it's all coming very soon so turn on notifications uh, so you won't miss any of my new uploads but other than that guys I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time feed your mind